Well, like any good person who covers visually impaired and blind products, we got to talk about it. It's Microsoft's Seeing AI. What's up, VIPs? Derek here, back with another video where it's all about helping you discover life after sight loss. On this channel, we do product reviews, life advice, encouragement, how-tos, and so much more. So if you're new here and that sounds good to you, consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss another single video. This past week in the world of visually impaired products and apps specifically, we've got a little bit of a shakeup as Microsoft released a new app called Seeing AI. Now this app basically does a couple of different things. It is a text reader, it is a barcode scanner, and it is a uh, people recognizer. I'm not sure if that's appropriate or not, but basically it helps you to read things, it'll read a document, it'll help you identify things in the store, stuff like that. Pretty basic stuff. Nothing that's like way out there and hasn't been done before, but one key thing is that this app is totally free. There's another app called the KNFB Reader, which you may have. I currently don't have that app. I've never actually used it personally. And one of the reasons is it's a hundred dollars. I've heard many people say tons of great things about the KNFB Reader. They really like it. It works well. And so to them, maybe it's totally worth a hundred dollars. But if Microsoft's Seeing AI can do what the KNFB Reader can do, as well as a couple of other things, and it's free, Man, this may be a real challenge to the KNFB Reader. Now, spoiler alert, I don't think it's gonna kill the KNFB Reader or anything like that. So, let me just show you a couple of things that it can do. This is not a how-to on the app. As a matter of fact, my good friend Sam from The Blind Spot did a whole how-to on this app, much better than I could. So I'm gonna link to that in the description below. And so I want you to check that out because he does a really great job. Plus, he's a good guy. You should go check him out. So let me show you a couple of things that it can do here within the app. All right, so here we are. First of all, let me just show you kind of the idea here. Um, so down at the bottom, you have this list. At first, it says short text, and it says adjustable, which means in, anytime it says adjustable, that means you can go up and down. So I'm going to go, okay, that's all the way to the left. Document, Document product, product, person, person scene beta, and that is it. It's all the way to the right. So we're going to go back down. Short text, okay? So now I'm just going to get this... Uh, I don't know what this is, postcard type thing is an advertisement, and we'll see what it can do here. Everything is, everything is great, everything is great. Even the price. Online check-in bullet. Download our free app, or visit gretclip.com. Great clips. It's going to be... Now, that nailed it pretty good. Earlier I had it, it says greatclips.com, it even got the URL. So, reading short text like this, like something in the mail, it's pretty awesome, and it does a great job. So now let's demonstrate the product. Let's go up to product. Document. Product. Product. Now, this is a barcode scanner, so I've got some green beans here. Now, the nice thing about this app is it's going to find the barcode. Okay, so let's put it out here. Happy Harvest cut green beans. Happy Harvest. And it found it. You heard the noises. Basically, it was beeping faster as it got towards it. I didn't have to do anything with it. Now, let's go. Share. I can share this. And I found it only shares that text, which is okay. But there's more info. Let's see what kind of more info we can get on this. More info. More info. Back. But more info. Happy Harvest cut green beans. Heading level two. Okay. No artificial flavors. No artificial preservatives. Natural mm. free food. That's great. Uh, that's a good thing. But anyway, different products are going to give you different information. So it's a great barcode scanner, and it'll help you. The, the best thing about it, it'll help you find that barcode because that's really what you want when you're like searching around. You're like, where's the barcode? It'll help you find it, which is very, very helpful. So those couple of things, it's really nailed it. I have tried the document and the scene beta and the people, and it works really well also. Not perfect, obviously, just yet, but really, really well. Now there's just a couple of things it can do, but my real point of this video isn't to show you the app and tell you how great it is. 
It's to make us think about apps like this. Look, we all want this world where we can put on a pair of glasses or use an app on our phone. It'll magically help us to see everything. And apps like this, while they're great and wonderful, they don't replace sight. That's not the point of the app. The app is to help you in your everyday life. The functionality of this app seems really good and really promising, especially as they improve it as the time goes by. And it's free, so... There you go. I think in all of these apps, we have to remember that this isn't a site replacement. It's a visually impaired product and assistive technology to help us have access to things. And I think we have to wonder, what are we looking for in an app? Do we want it to do everything really, really well? Or do we want it to do one thing extraordinarily well? And I think for me, I'd rather have an app that does one thing amazing than to try to do everything all at once. Because I found with many apps that try to do everything all at once, it ends up doing, well, none of it really that well. Now bear in mind that Seeing AI is only available for iOS at this point. So iPad, uh, iPod Touch, iPhone, things like that. So my question for you today is this. First of all, have you tried out Seeing AI and what do you think of it? And secondly, what do you think of these apps in general? Do you think they are amazing and super beneficial? And do you think that there is going to be one app to kill all other apps? Or are we going to use a variety of apps to make our lives that much more accessible to the world around us? I'd love to hear your thoughts, and I know others would as well. So let me know in the comments below. Hey, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with somebody you know, and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss another single video. And until next time, remember, guys, that sight loss isn't the end. It's just the beginning. My name is Derek Daniel from LifeAfterSightLoss.com. And I'll see you in the next one.